Hey everyone! Right, so, <laughs> managed to get Echo out for a walk a little while ago. Quite a long walk. Now, it's already dark-ish, getting dark. I've got Saren and Gia to walk. It was all a bit of a strange day really. First day up out of bed in three days. Yeah. And uh, I get woken up and Mike comes in and goes, um, there's a lady. I was literally, he woke me up saying, Jem, 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 there's a lady. I've just been with the lady and got her in the house. Down the road, right, so our village is really small, but no one talks to each other. <laughs> it's a polite hello. But no one sees each other. For some reason, you just don't see people. Unless you're out on a walk and you might see another person. But very few houses. And it's not like a village with a village shop. It's like a village that you just go through. There's nothing here. Plucked up from farms. And uh, what to see when I go for walks. But yeah, so Mike says, right, so this is, I get up to like this thing. Mike's had to, it's a lady, late 70s, very late 70s. He's gone, sinner, sitting on a wooden chair outside a house with another lady. They're both in Tesco's clothing. So this lady is late 70s and she works five nights a week, five, five nights a week at her age. Um, from six in the evening till eight in the morning and she stacked shells and she fell off a stool in the freezer aisle where Tesco's let her lay for three hours because the ambulance people said don't move her so they, they kept that until it was time to open the shop and then they said she had to get up and leave because of the, she would offend the customers great job Tesco's they could have driven her to A&E they could have they didn't they sent her home so she's got a lift home with her friend this is with she's got a broken leg that's all and then she couldn't get in the house she could get out of the car now we've never met this lady before so Mike steps in bless him as he always does because this is the sort of thing we end up doing all the time I don't think you think this happens to other people it happens to us a lot so he gets her in the house then it's, she's got a very autistic son who is lovely. He's adorable. I mean, he's about Echo's, about Echo's age, but in a 30 year old man's, sort of 30 year old man's body. And um, he's just, his care home's just closed down. And so he's back having to live at home with his mum. Now this, it's okay if she works nights, but she can't leave him in the day. So this causes lots of problems. Ow. Meaning that we had to then yeah. try and get care for her. Gia. So the doctors refused to do anything. Just called an ambulance. They told her she had a 10 hour wait for an ambulance. And her son. Mike went back around there. Had to phone in doctors and things and took food. And made sure she was in and warm and everything um and um yeah then i went back up there again and spoke to her i got angry so i phoned the surgery and said there must be something you can do and i didn't know her last name or anything so i started talking to the surgeon again we don't know who you talk about how can we help i'm like yeah but that it just doesn't matter who i'm talking about they worked out who i was talking about anyway by the description um and where she lives uh, like I said, there's not very many houses in our village. Um, anyway, they gave me two numbers. I didn't want to ring either. And so I took them back to her. And we, Simon took a real shine to me. So they're lovely. They're very lovely. But she sat there on a wooden chair with a hot water bottle. And uh, she can't move. She couldn't get to the toilet. She couldn't do anything, bless her. She's still in her Tesco's clothing. And uh, Mike had to take her to the bathroom, like pull her on the chair. Um, 
and then we still had to care for her son as well um and uh ended up uh, deer over there. yeah they're just just spotted deer uh, a lot of them um Angie. yeah yeah so she uh, she's wanting to play yeah so anyway went back around there da, 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 da. anyway it's ended up phoning her ex-husband he's eventually come to anyway this was this morning she's just gone in the ambulance just now just in a and her son's gone to stay with his dad but that's in Ipswich so now these people who have never met before I just dropped the keys off to their house and uh, we're now in charge of feeding their cats until she's at a hospital which hopefully will be very soon and uh, yeah so that was our adventure today so this happens all the time honestly we one day we were in the car driving right it was helling it down with rain actually helling it this old woman was walking on the road it was freezing and i mean elderly elderly everyone's going past her at like 80 miles an hour and it was really rain. we don't of course we stop pick her up what are you doing out in weather like this i've got to go to tesco's i've got to get cat food or dog food one or the other get in the car we'll take you well it ends up that this lady has very, had very bad dementia we ended up in tesco's and we ended up doing her shopping yeah and we ended up paying for her shopping because she didn't have any money bless her this was a stranger again and then doing her shopping paying for it taking her home finding her finding her house which is quite hard when you've got someone with dementia and they kind of forgot where they live and they're just telling you the name of uh, this place which we'd never heard of i live there i live there so yeah this happens to us all the time I tell you, you want to be picked up by we pick someone in his bike up because his, his bike had broke down on the side of the road we're like yeah get your bike in the back of the car and took him back to his house and his bike and then took him back somewhere else as well yeah we're echo um, echo yeah. come on Jean. come on pup yeah so we were always finding ourselves in these situations and everyone else is just like oh son i don't know how people can do it i don't know how <laughs> i don't know how people, people could drive past that i don't know how anyone left her for three hours on a floor and didn't drive her to a and e like it blows my mind where is humanity like it's just gone and then there's the cats i went back again met the dad of the lovely boy thought well he's grumpy he doesn't want to he was really grumpy and then i met him again i went back again to say look oh, you've got the cats if she goes to the hospital make sure blah, 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 blah. because she can't she couldn't get up to even let the ambulance people in she couldn't get to the bathroom and at least uh while her son was there he could at least get her a hot water bottle and make a cup of tea max max that's what he could do bless him but at least she had that and he could have unlocked the door and i was so worried she was going to be left so then i went back he wasn't very nice but i think he was just stressed because i went back again and he was lovely and he was really nice and it was lovely then he i said look just drop the keys or whatever and we'll look after your cats which he did oh and bless him the son went in the house and met he's met all the kids now he loves them he, he's lovely and he, oh, he kept hugging me he really kept hugging me and i was like oh i've got a ghost sweetheart and then i didn't see him and he said did you share my hair and i dropped the keys off and i was like she's not i'm really sorry bless him so yeah that's our day so got up had a bath all that all that and now i'm out walking the dog so yeah <laughs> kindness for weakness i don't know anyway blah 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 always be kind and peace